गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव कवर्ड डिफेक्ट ऑफ विजन मायोपिया हाइपरमेट्रोपिया प्रेस बायोपिया एंड कैटेरेक्ट टुडे वी विल बी डूइंग न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन दिस डिफेक्ट ऑफ विजन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल रिकैप्चुलेट दिस डिफेक्ट्स फर्स्ट वन इज मायोपिया डिफाइन मायोपिया the defect of human eye in which the person can see the nearby objects clearly but unable to see the distant objects clearly and distinctly is known as myopia it is also known as near sightedness the light rays after passing the eye lens meets in front of retina as you can see in the figure now what are the causes of myopia increase in the size of eyeball due to this the distance between eye lens and retina increases and hence the light rays meet in front of retina forming a blurred image this blur image can be correct by wearing concave lenses of suitable focal length now concave lens you all have seen it is thinner from the middle and thicker from its edges it is also known as diverging lens and what are the causes of myopia the eye lens becomes thicker and the eyeball size increases as you can see in the figure now what is the power of a lens the power of lens is expressed in diopters represented by capital d coming over to next defect hypermetropia hypermetropia is the defect of human eye in which a person cannot see nearby objects clearly but can see distant objects clearly and distinctly and it is also known as far sightedness in hypermetropia if a object is placed near the eye lens near the eyeball the image will be formed behind retina as you can see in the figure now what are the causes of hypermetropia decrease in the size of eyeball due to this distance between eye lens and retina decreases and the rays those are meeting on retina when the eye was normal they will now meet behind retina and the image formed will be blurred again now what are the causes of retina sorry causes of hypermetropia shortening of eyeball and eye lens becomes thick the focal length will increase and due to this again the rays will be meeting behind retina the image will not be formed on retina a person suffering from hypermetropia can wear spectacles with convex lens so that the image can be formed on retina we all know that convex lens is thicker from the middle and thinner from its edges also known as converging lens you can again see in the figure the rays are meeting behind retina but after applying convex lens they will be again focusing on retina and image a clear image a distinct image of the object will be formed on retina after wearing a spectacles with convex lenses next defect is presbyopia in presbyopia ciliary muscles of a person becomes weak and loses flexibility the power of accommodation of eye decreases hence the person cannot able to see the nearby objects and far objects clearly generally nearby objects clearly this defect is known as presbyopia and also known as old age hypermetropia how will you correct presbyopia this defect is correct with help of spectacles fitted with bifocal lens suitable focal length these lenses will be concave lens and convex lens 
concave lens for distant objects and convex lens for nearby objects. Cataract. It is the defect of eye in which the eye lens becomes cloudy. It becomes hazy. The eye lens becomes hazy and vision of the eye decreases. Now how will you correct this cataract? It can be corrected by removing the affected lens by surgery and replacing it with suitable lens. Now what is lens formula? We all have studied in class 10th. 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. What is f here? Focal length. V distance of object and object is always placed on the left hand side u distance of image in hypermetropia the formula will be 1 by f is equal to x minus d over xd now what is x here x represents the distance of object correct the distance of object d represents u distance of image in myopia focal length is equal to minus of x or you may say minus of v the power of lens in hypermetropia is given by 1 by f reciprocal of uh, focal length of the convex mirror in myopia the power of lens is given by reciprocal of focal length the SI unit of power of a lens is a diopter and it is represented by capital D now let's start our topic numericals the first numerical goes like this the near point of a hypermetropic eye is 1 meter what is the power of lens required to correct this defect? Near point is given 25 centimeter. Now first of all in a numerical find out what is given. Here 1 meter is the near point of hypermetropic eye and 25 centimeter the near point. Now V becomes minus X and minus X taking SI unit is 1 meter minus 1 meter u becomes minus 0 0.25 meter convert centimeter into its SI unit length SI unit is meter taking u as 0 0.25 meter the formula used will be lens formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u so v will be replaced by minus x which is minus 1 meter u will be replaced by d which is minus 0 0.25 meter Hence, after solving this, you will find out f is equal to plus 1 by 3 meter. To find out the power of a lens, the formula is p is equal to 1 by f meter. From here, you find p is equal to plus 3 diopter. Now, what will be the nature of lens? What is the value of focal of what is the value of power? Both are positive. So the lens used will be convex lens. Clear? Coming to next question. The far point of a myopic eye is 60 cm. Look, it is given in CGS units 60 cm. We have to convert it in SI units meters. So it will become 0 0.6 meter. What is the nature and power of the lens required to correct this defect? So again we will find out what is given in the question. Given V is minus X which is minus 0 0.6 meter and U is considered as minus infinity. Formula used? Yes, lens formula. 1 by F is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U. Putting these values, the value of F focal length comes out to be minus 0 0.6 meter and the power of lens given by formula p is equal to 1 by f f is taken in meters 
the value of power of lens p comes out to be minus 1.66 diopter here the focal length of the lens and power of the lens both are negative so what will be the nature of the lens it will be a concave lens i hope this numerical is also clear to you now coming to assessment there is a question for you the near point of hypermetropic eye is 500 cm converting into si unit we will have 5 meter what is the nature and power of lens required to correct this defect a near point of normal eye is 25 cm so what is the value of v what is the value of u you are correct value of v is minus 5 meter and value of u is minus 0.25 meters the formula you will be using will be formula used will be lens formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u and you will find out the power of lens by the formula p is equal to 1 by f and f is be taken into meters now you have to find out what will be the nature of the lens used to correct this defect yes the nature of the lens will be convex lens so let's conclude today's topic the lens formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u for hypermetropia the focal length f is given by x d divided by x minus d in myopia the focal length is given by minus of x the power of lens in hypermetropia is given by 1 by f where f is taken in meters in myopia the power of lens is given by the same formula 1 by f again f is taken in meters the si unit of power of lens is diopter represented by capital d always write the units after solving the numerical whether it is focal length or power of lens don't forget to write units as it may lead to deduction in your marks so in last here is homework for you you have to solve assignment number 30 thank you and have a nice day